what's going on you guys um so I have a crazy prediction that may surprise some of you out there on the YouTube land and it may really get to some of y'all may really piss some of you guys off um Matt Nagy has potential to be a really good NFL head coach he does the only problem I'm seeing with Matt Nagy is he don't know how to stick to one game plan they start off the game and they're running the football and the run game gets going and they stick with it for the first half and then you have a team that ran the ball good in this first half went away from it in the second half and ultimately come out with a loss now if Matt Nagy could just stick with one game plan and not try to fit all these different game or plays in there that would likely confuse or throw off a team as a whole then I think Matt Nagy has potential to be one of the best head coaches in the NFL now I will say this and I will say it for not only myself but I do believe this is like me just being a bandwagon this is my personal belief I think that with the Justin Fields with the Bears getting Justin Fields um, I think they will have success, plenty of it. Um, I think that Matt Nagy is not so much on the hot seat this year, but he is close to being on the hot seat. I think if the Bears don't make the playoffs and they don't do good as in like I say above 500 uh, there's a lot of teams in the NFC that have that possibility of making the playoffs and that are a real threat to make the playoffs you know you have the Rams the Cardinals the 49ers the Seahawks as always the Saints the Saints are still a playoff contender no matter what your what you think the Saints are still a playoff contender um you know, there's multiple other teams I could name. The Vikings. The Vikings are going to be a playoff contender this year. Just like on the AFC side of things. Um, you know, there's several teams over there who are playoff contenders. and It's it's Miami. It's time to shine. It's, you know, it's time to do what has to be done and do it the correct way. Or lose your job, basically. And what Matt Nagy does is he starts to game plan one way and then somebody throws another idea at him and it's automatically in the game plan for that game that they're playing that week. Um... Like I said, there's a lot of teams this year who could very well make the playoffs, who could very well be a first round exit, who could very well be a, you know, all the way to the Super Bowl team. And if not to the Super Bowl, to the championship. Um, like I was saying, Matt Nagy 
he has to figure it out. I say if he does bad this year, he'll be on the hot seat in 2022. And if he does bad then, then he'll be fired. And so will the uh, front office. I don't know the front office name, the man in the front office, but he will be, he will most definitely be gone. If they don't do good this year, I can most certainly see the Bears going out and firing the man in the front office because he is one of the stupidest GMs I've ever even talked about. Like, I don't understand what this man's train of thought is. You signed Andy Reid guaranteeing him a starting job for the season. You went out and got Justin Fields, one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL draft. Then you come out and tell Andy Reid Steele. Andy Reid? What? Andy Dalton. That he would still have the starting position which is understandable I get you want to not rush Justin Fields into it but in my personal opinion Justin Fields and Trevor Lawrence were the top two guys who were most prepared to play in the NFL, Justin Fields obviously being at number one. So that's just my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.